In this video, I'll show you how my husband fixed the timing on this sewing machine that was skipping stitches. I'm going to preface this video by saying that we aren't sewing machine mechanics, but that this worked for us. Please subscribe to my channel for more sewing and crafting videos. This is the Singer 6215C sewing machine. I wasn't really seeking out a new machine, but when this one came up for auction on my local Bidding Wars Facebook group and no one was interested in it, I couldn't resist putting in a $1 bid. It was functioning, but it had timing issues. This first line of stitching is a straight stitch, and it appears fine. However, this second line of stitching is the widest zigzag stitch the machine can make. Yeah, that's Okay. As you can see, it skipped most of the zigs and most of the zags, and it actually only created a few. Otherwise, it skipped the bulk of the stitches. So this is showing out of timing. Once the needle has bottomed out and is on the way up, that's where the needle hook should be behind it. But instead, the needle hook is literally passing just as the eyelet's passing, which is going to cause all sorts of problems when you start to go zigzagging when the needle is not going to be center. So that's going to cause timing problems. So again, once it hits bottom, starts coming up, the hook should already be there. The hook is too late. He started by opening up the bobbin cover and the back cover plate. He took out the bobbin and the bobbin casing. We open up here. Open up there. Remove our bobbin. To remove the bobbin casing, just shift this metal piece that holds it in place. So yeah, I got that out of there. And now... So we're looking for when the needle hits bottom and just as it starts to come up, the hook is supposed to be there. It's a little late. Should be right around there, just as it moves just a little up. Like 16th, couple mils. So it's wrong. So how to fix that. Flip over the machine to access the underside. On the 6215C, there's a screw here to provide access. Now what we have to do is we got to unseat the belt and advance the needle towards. So we got to turn it one that way. So. We get in here, we start to move the belt off, nice and gentle. We could be doing it the proper way, but that's not how we're doing it here. Make sure to hold on to your gear, because it's going to want to go. And as soon as it's one off, we are going to Advance it towards the needle one, and then we are going to put it back on. Okay, and we can check it. So we will uh, make sure I flip it in focus. When the timing is correct, it should look like this. So this is to show where the needle should properly be. So once it hits dead bottom, as it starts to come up, the hook should just get to the back there. So as it comes down bottom, as it's coming back on the up, the hook should pass by. And the needle loop should be just below when it touches. If it touches just as the needle hook is there, the timing is off. So, just show. 
as it hits dead bottom, as it comes up, the hook should meet. After it's correct, put the bobbin case back in, locking it in place. Number two. Okay. It's working now. Hooray! Thanks for watching. Please like this video to help support this channel. If you're looking for a basic threading and bobbin winding video demonstration for the Singer 6215C sewing machine, you're in luck. You can view that video on my channel along with other vintage and retro sewing machine demonstrations. This is Craftcore signing off. See you next time.